So tell me what you think about the future of network marketing as, as we retrain these people, new skills, entrepreneurial skills. We teach people how to be entrepreneurs, take charge of their life, um, you know, run their own life, get away from that job if they want to, have that extra income, build a career. Um, what do you see as the future? Well, ultimately, the companies that succeed today in network marketing, while they think it's their product or something that's unique, what they're really succeeding at is intellectual distribution, distributing information about a product or service that will improve your life. Original network marketing was carrying goods, distributing when there wasn't UPS, there wasn't the post office, and you had to take them out of your trunk and lug product all over the place. Today, network marketing, virtually every network marketing company, is really about somebody teaching something else to someone, teaching a better method to someone, a better product, a better business way of doing business. And that is the strength of network marketing, and that's the bottleneck. As new technology comes up that would allow an Uber, an Airbnb, or so many things I'm studying in the sharing economy to exist, someone's got to teach the consumer how to use the new technology. And network marketing, while you think you're developing your wellness business, you're really developing your skill business at teaching other people new things. And that's going to be where the big money is. It already is in network marketing. That's going to be increasingly where there's more money in society because companies want to train you or teach you to go train people about their product. Nobody does that as well as the network marketing industry.